Welcome to EBI's Screening News Update. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association's Board of Directors has decided all 8,000 high school referees must have a thorough background check before stepping onto the court or the field. A Boston Globe investigation found a small number of officials with serious criminal records, including sexual assaults against minors, gun possession, and drugs. A few days after the report, a high school basketball ref was charged with murdering his wife, who also happened to be a basketball official. Massachusetts is the 28th state to require background checks for officials. Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe signed a measure into law that will shield patients who use marijuana extracts to treat severe forms of epilepsy. These oils are still technically illegal under the law, and you can't buy or sell them in the state. But if patients have written permission from their doctor and obtain the drug on the black market, the law gives them protection from prosecution. The city of Tampa already bans the box for city job applicants, and there was hope by some that the county council would expand that to include all city vendors. The ordinance failed in a vote of four to two. The city attorney feared banning the box for vendors would lead to bid protests and possibly lawsuits. We've heard all kinds of explanations as to why legalizing marijuana isn't a good idea, but this one tops them all. A DEA agent testified in front of a Utah Senate panel to warn that legalizing edible forms of medical marijuana would cause wildlife to develop a taste for the plant, lose their fear of humans, and basically be high all the time. He based his testimony on a rabbit that refused to run away as agents ripped up all the marijuana plants around him. Be sure to join us every week for more news and be sure to check out ebiinc.com for more screening information. I'm Jennifer Gladstone. See you next time.